Good evening, I'm Tim Callahan. Here's what's making news this evening. An emotional day across the country as a woman who says Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh sexually assaulted her was testifying before a Senate Judiciary Committee today. Dr. Christine Blasley Ford told her story and defended it against an Arizona, Arizona prosecutor who Republicans chose to ask questions for them. Democrats got their turn too and Brett Kavanaugh also defended himself against those accusations. I am here today not because I want to be. I am terrified. I am an independent person and I am no one's pawn. I'm here today to tell the truth. I've never sexually assaulted anyone. This is a circus. The consequences will extend long past my nomination. The Senate Judiciary Committee scheduled to vote to confirm Kavanaugh tomorrow, 6.30 in the morning, our time. He needed 11 votes to get out of that committee and send it to the Senate floor. There is one possible dissenting vote tonight. More coverage tomorrow morning. Cal State Bakersfield Student Health Services has received a three-year accreditation for meeting or achieving nationally recognized standards for quality care. The university's student health care services helps promote a healthy campus by providing quality and cost-effective health care to students. This is the ninth year they have received that accreditation. We're in the final days of the Kern County Fair and a rodeo will be riding into town this week. This rodeo, a culmination of the fastest and toughest cowgirls and cowboys in the professional sport. They'll put their skills to the test in six standard events, plus the women's barrel race, the PCRA rodeo set for 730 tomorrow at Coors Grandstand Arena. And if you are planning on heading out to the fair tomorrow, temperatures will be in the 90s again, but cooling down this weekend, finally feeling like fall 84 degrees on Sunday and Monday, the first day of October. And it looks like we could be having our first rain chances as early as Tuesday of next week. Wow, what a difference that forecast is there. That's your latest news and weather. You can find the top stories anytime at turn to 23.com.